Hi there guys, it's uh, Neil here. I'm going to show you my demo of a 6 minute walk test app that I've developed for iTunes, Android and Blackberry. Okay, so here it is. And uh, let's just do a quick demo of a male client who is diabetic and it's his initial assessment. So let's go into male client. Let's do the first step which is to do the 6 minute walk test. As you can see here, you've got all your tools needed to conduct a 6 minute walk test and I'll just go through them. Um, in order. So you've got all your calculators, your stopwatch and a place to record your vital signs including blood glucose levels. So let's just scroll down there. Here it is there. Okay so usually when you would start uh, well before you start a six minute walk test you would have your baseline observations uh, which includes, you know, heart rate, SATs, blood pressure, and blood sugars. So let's put those in. So for example, I'm going to put in these values as my baseline observations. I'm going to scroll down to the blood glucose table and put in a pre blood glucose level. Okay, now what I can also do is scroll back up and do some Borg scale ratings before as well. So I've got my 0 to 10 scale here and also my 6 to 20 scale here. Let's go back. So for example, I'm going to put in 1, 1 for fatigue and shortness of breath. Okay, now what I'm also going to do is let's start the stopwatch. Okay, so what you can do now is add laps. As you can see down there. Now to calculate a client's distance, you'll need to put in your length of track. I'm going to use 25 meters as an example. And with your laps, you can also just type them in instead of using the lap counter, but I found the lap counter very handy when doing this test. Okay, now let's say your client stops in the middle of the track and only does 15 meters, so you can add that in as a partial lap meter there as well. Okay, so now I'm not going to wait for the stopwatch to clock over to one minute to uh, put all the values in. Rather, for this example, I'm going to put in all the values in just to see how the report is printed out. Now it's the sixth minute, so usually you would do a blood pressure here. So for example, I'm going to put in 150 over 80. Now I'm going to continue on with putting in my values for saturations and heart rate. And now it's the last blood pressure as well. And now I'm also going to put in my blood sugar when I take it after the six minute walk test. And also, I'll put in Borg scale ratings for after the six minute walk test. So for example, a three for fatigue. Oh, I just press the clear table button. Not to worry, I can fill those in. and a 12 for RPE. Let's press done. Okay, let's go back. And now we can fill in the rest of the tools here. So let's go to the initial assessment. Don't have anything there. So let's fill that in. 
let's start with a predicted distance for the client. So for example, let's say our client is 175 centimeters, the weight is 85, and the age, well, let's say, um, I don't know what his age is, I can actually put in his date of birth here. Let's say the 28th of February, 1946. Let's calculate his age there. Okay, so you can see that the client is very close to turning 66, but is technically still 65. So let's that, add that in to the predicted distance. Okay, let's go back up and go to the predicted distance. And there you can see the age has been transferred. So that's a nice nifty tool um, if you're Generation Y like myself who has trouble calculating ages. So now that we have the predicted distance, let the, let's add that to the initial assessment. Okay. And let's see that over there. And there it is. But we still need a client distance. You can either put that in yourself or you can use the client distance calculator which is here. So let's say client has done 22 laps and 15 meters on a 25 meter track. Let's calculate that and add those partial laps on as well. Let's scroll down and there it is there. And let's add that to the initial assessment. Let's scroll back up to the initial assessment and let's now calculate the predicted distance. Okay, so that client did really well at 104.82. Let's go back and let's also put in the client's BMI. Let's calculate that as well. Now you have that too. So let's go back. So really with the first step you need to try and fill in everything as much as possible. And I think we've done that so let's press done. And now let's do step two which is to transfer the report. All it does is transfer all that data that we put into the first step into a report. So let's add that to the initial report. Simple. So let's go back and do step three, which is to submit the report. And remember that you need an internet connection to send an email, whether it be Wi-Fi or 3G. And depending on which assessment it is, let's um, see whether it's in the initial report. So let's have a look here. So everything that has been put into that first step, which is the six minute walk test has been transferred over, transferred over into this report. And let's fill in the missing pieces. Now if you're concerned about client details and security, um, the only thing that is required for the client details is a client's name. But you can actually just put in an alias into the client's name there. Now let's put in a date of birth. We said it was the 28th of February 1946. And we can also put in an address, which I won't do for this example. Um, let's put in a waist measurement. Let's say 94 centimeters. Okay, and as you can see, the height, the weight, and the BMI have been transferred over, as well as all the vital signs that we recorded. And also the Borg scale, and also the initial assessment values here. You also have a comments box here, which I'll put in a comment. I'm going to say this client did really well. Okay, so now we're done. All you need to do now is to put in your name. I'm going to put in my name. I'm going to put in an address as well to email this to. Okay, done. Now, make sure your email is valid so when we submit it, we can check if it's been sent. So I'm going to go into my mailbox here and check if it's been sent. And there we have it. It's all been sent there. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to download it.
Okay, so there we have it. Everything that I did put in. Oh, lost it there. There we are. So everything that I did put in has been put in there. And there you have it. The report's all been sent to you. Now you can print this out and give a copy to the client, any other health professionals involved in his care. So I'm going to close that down. Now I'm going to clear the form. I'll go back. And there you have it. So, um, guys, please rate this app and also contact me if you have any feedback. But I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thanks. Bye.